In the last video, we talked about routing, and we said that routing in OpenStreetMap is accomplished when two ways share a node. So let's review that quickly. Uh, we'll have one node going horizontally, and one node, I'm sorry, one way going horizontally and one way going vertically. We see that they share this node, um, and therefore these two ways are routable. Um, but we don't, we don't always want ways that intersect to be routable. Um, so this this is where uh, layers come in. And so I'm just going to write that down. So we have to remember when we're talking about OpenStreetMap that OpenStreetMap is a two-dimensional uh, representation of um, the Earth. So, so uh, we don't have a z-axis. We have an x-axis and we have a y-axis, but we don't have uh, a z-axis, we don't have a way of representing height in OpenStreetMap. So the way that we do that uh, to get around this limitation is we use a concept called layers. The way layers works is that we assume that everything is at ground level uh, and we call that uh, layer zero. zero. And we then have um, representations of the idea of above or below that implicit layer zero. So we might have, say, a bridge would be at you know, layer one um, or something else higher at layer two. And we can go up to layer five. So up, 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 layer five. And we're going to start with layer zero. And we can also go down at negative one, negative two, negative three, and down to negative five. So, so that's, that's basically how layers work. Um, and l let's let's demonstrate this. So let's create a, a river. So we'll have a river here. All right, and we'll make that um, waterway equals river. And we'll have a bridge crossing that river. So we'll have our little bridge here. And these two ways intersect, but they don't share a node. Um, and this uh, would be tagged with bridge equals yes. So this waterway equals river. Uh, let's say that that's layer zero, uh, which means that we don't have to label it explicitly. Uh, everything is implied to be at layer zero if it's not specifically labeled. But since the bridge is above the river, we would we would label that we would lab label that layer equals one, so that's layer equals one. Um, now we could have another part of this river where we had a tunnel, and we would do let's put another tunnel here, and we would say uh, that would be tunnel equals yes, and layer equals negative one. So here we have three layers that are represented, right? Our implicit layer zero, um, layer zero, right? We don't have to explicitly say that. Uh, we have our one layer, right, so for above, and we have our negative one layer for below. And uh, that's, that's all we have to know for, for layers. Uh, the one other thing I would mention is if you do see two objects uh, in OpenStreetMap that intersect, uh, two ways that intersect but uh, do not have layer tags, that's a mistake, right? Because uh, if there are two roads, for example, um, if one does not pass over the other, um, then, it's pr then it probably uh, allows for um, routing. And if not, um, well, that's, that's just almost always how it is. And so you want to check for, for this kind of situation where you see this this type of mistake and uh, actually we'll cover that more in the next video so see you then